Hey guys, um, this week uh, what we're going to do is uh, take a look at um, a patient that has uh, a large punched out radiolucent lesion in the right jaw. So when you look at the radiograph, um, you'll be able to see there's just a dark circle and there's a tooth in the middle of that. And so what we're going to do is go in and remove the tooth. Um, remove the cyst that's involving um, this and has created this deficiency in the manual um, and send it off uh, for pathology to find out what it is. So let's head back, let's um, get this patient to sleep and get this done um, and I hope you guys like this one. What we're taking a look at here is an incision that went from the um, mesial of tooth numbers 23 vertical release full thickness intracellular incision um, that allows me to expose the mandible and right in this area is a cyst and an impacted extra tooth. So this is called tooth number 28. This is called tooth number 29. Tooth number 28S, just meaning a supernumerary tooth that's hiding in here. If we take a look down here, you can actually see the mental nerve exiting down in that area. So it's kind of right near my periosteal elevator right there. So what we're going to do next is make a window and we're going to clean out a cyst that you're going to see up on this radiograph. So there's the impacted um, supernumerary 2, 28S, with that radiolucency around it. So all that's coming out. So the next step is I'm going to remove a small amount of bone, and I'm going to aspirate to make sure it's not vascular. Then all I'll do is I'll remove the rest of the bony window, and then we'll annuclate the cyst and take out the tooth. We'll come back in a second just to show you uh, what it looks like after some of the bone has been removed and it's been aspirated, uh, but before the actual cyst or tooth are out. So we have this window and the cyst cavity. You can see this white stuff. This is keratin, this cheesy kind of material, and it's very thin wall. This looks a lot like a keratocystic odontogenic tumor. So what I'm going to do now is just go around this thing and just start to enucleate it and get this thing mobilized. That's a bunch of keratin that's coming out of there right now. Okay. And we'll come back in a bit once we've got this thing um, completely enucleated. Sure. The lighting is always difficult here, but we're trying to show that there's actually a dehiscence in the bone right here that goes back into the sublingual space. So this is all just in a little piece of missing bone. And this goes up underneath, and I've made sure that we've got all of the soft tissue out of this. Now I still need to go down next to the actual neurovascular bundle. There's still some tissue there, but we got to tease that away too. All right. All right, kind of just take a kind of a pan of this. Everything's all stitched up, closed uh, nicely with 3 chromic gut suture. Um, now we're just going to let things heal. Send that biopsy report off. If it comes back is what I think it's going to, which is a keratocystic odontogenic tumor. Um, we're going to have to take out tooth numbers 27, 28, and 29 because the cyst um, maybe and daughter cysts may and tissue may be between these teeth. It's so big to minimize the rate of recurrence we need to get those teeth out if it is indeed a KOT. Um, procedure went well, got the tooth out, um, enucleated the cyst. Uh, it goes in formalin, a little specimen container, and it gets sent to the pathologist um, who will take a look at it and give us a final diagnosis. Um, if you guys have any questions, you know, please feel free to comment or ask questions down below. Um, give us a, a thumbs up, um, subscribe, um, and tell all your friends about this. Forward it on, see if you can gross them out. Um, and uh, we'll see you next time.